Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so in this video, let's uh talking about a simple topic. Uh, probably not this simple enough, so we can like make this video very short. Okay, so this uh previously I have a uh video list talking about some um, uh some MP completeness reduction. And uh uh I I try to like read that I try try to like make a like everything clearly like uh reduce one MP complete question to another. So I will like so this video just updated update the list. Okay, so this video I'm talking about is subgraph uh isomorphism problem. Uh, by the way, in the computer science, when uh when we write a, uh, I think when we write a problem, that we will always use uh capital. Okay. Uh, and there's another famous question called the graph isomorphism problem. And that this problem is very interesting, so that uh, many people like start to uh thinking about it. So this one is like much interesting, but this this video we're talking about is subgraph isomorphism. Okay. Uh so this subgraph isomorphism the uh let's let me just use subgraph. So for the convenience. So uh the inputs basically it's the so it's the language in the computer science language given a g1, g2, such that the g1 is a subgraph of g2. Okay, so what it means is that somebody give you a G1, right? Maybe you got some G1, then you can create a large graph. For example, maybe uh maybe this one, right? It's G2. And the G1 is a subgraph of G2. Basically, you can like I say, I match this, and I match, let's say this is one, one, this is two, two, three, three, and four, four. So uh G1 is a subgraph of G2 means that uh I can assign edge. I can reverse this. So each uh, V belongs to the set is map phi. Each V, I can back to phi of V. And if U V belongs to G1, means that there's a edge connecting U and V. And uh, after mapping phi U and phi V, there must be an edge. So phi U and phi V must has the edge, has the edge in G2. Okay, so this is uh, basically simple speaking is that uh, G, G1 is a subgraph of G2. Okay, and uh, the so this subgraph question is that someone someone give you G one G two, and you output one if uh G one is subset of, uh G one is a subgraph of G two, otherwise that you output zero. Okay, and then you can imagine that this problem is very difficult, right? Because I mean you don't know where whether to start or not. Okay, and then let me talk about graph isomorphism. So graph isomorphism just the simple, uh the simple version. Probably not simple. Or not, let's give you G1 and G2, and you ask uh whether uh G1 is isomorphic to G2. So basically you can check the number of vertices and the maybe number of edges, and uh but sometimes it becomes very difficult, right? So you need to like match one by one vertices to vertices and edge to edge. Okay, so this is called graph isomorphic uh graph isomorphism problem. And then this is a very famous uh, consequence. Uh, there is a right. So the open question is that uh, whether this graph isomorphism is NP complete or not. So this guy is still open. So this video that we will approve the subgraph isomorphism is NP complete. Okay, so our goal is to show a uh, subgraph is NP complete. Okay, I noticed that the graph isomorphism, let's call it graph isomorphism problem, is NP complete. It's an open question. And uh, people believe it's not. Uh, the reason is uh, somewhat tricky. The reason is that if a uh, graphite some reason is going to be complete, then the pH collapse, the polynomial hierarchy collapse into uh, into the second level. Basically, the reason is that the graphite some reason has a uh, the interactive proof. I think it's in the AM or something. So, graph isomorphism has a very interesting proof that you can flip a coin and ask, and ask Merlin to dis, uh, distinguish uh, 
uh, distinguish the uh, whether you start from different graphs. Okay. Uh, but it's another, uh, so it's another thing that we can talk in the future. Okay, so uh, graph is already MP complete. So proof first one is that we need to show that the uh, subgraph is in MP. And then this is uh, trivial, right? Because uh, the reason is that you just provide witness, right? You just, if it's MP, then you just say, oh, this, right, it's G2, uh, this vertices match with the G1 vertices. And then you just check uh, the edges. Uh, there's an edge and there's a vertices. Okay, so just trivial. And when it's just a subgraph or the mapping or specify the mapping. Okay, and uh, the reason the second one is to show that uh, a subgraph is uh, MP complete. Right, so the idea is that we need to like start from some uh, other MP complete question and say that oh, if I can solve, I can translate this uh, the original MP complete question into this subgraph MP complete, uh, or uh, translate into this subgraph and uh, use this subgraph oracle to solve the original one. Okay, and obviously that uh, one can choose a K, K clique. Okay, so K clique is simple, right? You given a uh, given G, and K. And ask whether uh G has K click. So K click basically means that the G has complete graph with vertices K, with number of vertices K. For example, this is the three click, and this is four click. So uh, we know that uh, given that K click is MP complete, you can uh, you can check on my other videos that one can show that the uh, three sets can be reduced. I mean, so you can show that K click is MP complete. Okay, so uh, so the proof is very simple. So we just start from a GK, right? So given a uh, given input of this GK, then we can translate into like. Uh, we just put G here, so this is the measure at G two, and it needs to be the 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 K click graph. So we just put something here. It's a K of them, and then you just start connecting. They become a yeah. So just just yeah. Okay, you know what? Okay, so we just create this K click graph. So it's a complete graph with K. Okay, and obviously that is easy to see that if G has a K G has a K click. Then this K click will match the subgraph. If G has no K click, then otherwise no K click will match the subgraph. So proof is done. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, so see you guys next videos.